Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I come to you with no makeup on and a messy ponytail because I'm going to be doing my spring cleaning video. I can't believe it's already time to do these again. I feel like I just barely did these in my apartment, which now I'm in a house and it's time to do them again. I'm gonna be putting my kiddos down for a nap to clean so I don't have to worry about them. And that means that I only have a two hour window to do some cleaning. So I decided that I would split my spring cleaning into three categories, my main living area, which is what I'm doing today and then later my bathrooms and then the kitchen will be its own separate spring cleaning video also I have another awesome campaign from Girl Collaborative for you guys this one is probably my favorite so far as you guys know I love Girl Collaborative because it is a huge variety of all-natural products that ship to my door and as a mom um, I don't always get out of the house and so it's really nice if I need some laundry detergent or some dishwasher detergent to just order it online so right now with the campaign if you are new to Grow Collaborative and decide to try it out um, you get a free well I'll just show you a clip of the bundle that you get for free by spending $20 um, on your first purchase so you get to pick from the limited edition spring scents which are peony mint and lilac I had a really hard time picking what I wanted but the peony smells amazing and I'm so glad I got it it comes with the dish soap, the hand soap, and a multi-surface spray, which I use this for everything, cleaning counters, cleaning the table. It's just a really great all-purpose spray, and it smells amazing while you're cleaning. And they're also giving away this really pretty cornflower blue dish towel that is their own brand, and I think the quality is really amazing. It reminds me of the ones that I have from Crate and Barrel. That's the place. Anyway, so like I said, this is my favorite campaign by far, so you've, you've been on the fence about trying Girl Collaborative. Um, I think that this is the time to jump in and try it out. Also, I will answer some frequently asked questions about the whole system that I get at the end of this video, but right now, let's just dive into the reason we're all here, which is the spring cleaning. So if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel for a long time, you know the first thing that I like to do every time I start cleaning is to gather up all the supplies that I'm going to be using. The cleaning products, the scrubbers, everything and put it in a basket so that I have it all in one place and I can carry it from room to room. Next I like to write out a list of the jobs that I'm going to tackle and then I can check them off as I get them done one by one. This just really helps me keep my mind less cluttered and not forget anything but also just the action of checking something off just helps me to keep motivated to get the jobs done. The first job I wanted to tackle was the shower head in my bathroom. Um, I saw this trick online somewhere where you can just fill a baggie with some vinegar. You can usually use white vinegar but I just used all I had which was the apple cider. Basically you just take the baggie and put it around the shower head securing it with a rubber band and then you just leave it on there for a couple hours. In my case I forgot and I left it on overnight um, so you guys don't get to see the finished product but it turned out really clean and it was so easy. Next I'm just going to take my Swiffer and attach a clean uh, cloth <laughs> I don't know what you call it and I'm just gonna use it to quickly sweep up my floor I have so much hard flooring now that I got this Swiffer because I thought it would help me just kind of um, sweep a little bit more than I used to and it really has I daily will just take it out and run it across my floor Next, it's time to start mopping all the hardwood floors, and I'm going to get out my mop, which this is a new mop I got on Amazon, actually, and I really, really love it, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But because I have so many hardwood floors now, I was trying to figure out how to clean them. I had to, to kind of educate myself on that, and I heard that if you take two tea bags, um, and add them to your mop water, it will leave your wood floors with a really nice shine. Um, so I just added them directly to my hot water. I really like how this mop is so compact. It really fits nicely into my storage shelf. But the coolest thing by far is how well it rings out. And now that I have hardwood floors, it's really important to have the mop not totally wet because these are real wood floors and any water left on it could make them bow and crack. 
So I'm using my Method Squirt and Mop, which is really actually cool. You don't add the product to your mop water, you just kind of squirt it on your hardwood floors and then mop it up, which I thought was kind of cool and different. And then I'm going to take a drying towel and just with my feet kind of dry up where I mopped and I split the room in sections so that I wouldn't miss anything because like I said, any water left over can really damage the hardwood floors and, and yeah, I didn't want to do that. The scent of the cleaner is almond and it smells absolutely amazing, which I really like that because anything I've used in the past has left my house smelling like chemicals, but the almond scent smelled so yummy. It just reminded me like a warm almond pastry with a little icing on top. It smells that good. And about the tea bags I mentioned earlier, they really did seem to work. My wood floor is looking really nice and shiny. This mop was really easy to get into corners because it's shaped kind of like a triangle. And also I like the fact that the brush, I don't know what you'd call it, but you can actually throw that part. You can detach it and throw it into the laundry and clean it, or you can reorder separate ones, which is I thought was a really, really great idea. Um, so I'll have the link to all of that down below if anyone wants to try out this mop because I am loving it. And then I got out another Method Squirt and Mop product. This one, I can't remember the scent, but it's specifically for tiles and linoleums. So I just used that on my tile flooring. The next thing I wanted to do was clean the grout between my tiles, which I should have done this before I mopped, but I didn't think about it, so I had to actually mop after I finished. But I just took my Mrs. Meyers baking soda cleaner and a brush and just kind of scrubbed through the tiles, and it just kind of freshened up the flooring, and it didn't damage the grout at all. I just have a small area of tile so I could do this, but if you have a very large one, I would probably just stick with doing this job one day instead of trying to clean your whole house like I did. The next thing I wanted to do was polish my furniture, and I'm not really going to talk about the product I used for this because it is from a subscription company that I no longer have because I can't afford it. It's kind of a more expensive one, um, but it is from Mel Luca and it really works, but I'm looking for something a little bit more affordable. So if you guys have any ideas of a good wood polisher, let me know in the comments down below. But I just like how I can spray it onto my wood and then wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And then I went over and did that to my dining room table, which really needed it. You don't notice how much like little bits of food can get down between the rungs and like on the sides and stuff that you don't get all the time. So it kind of was a really good thing that I clean that I polished up my table as well. And it really did look nice and polished afterwards. Then I'm gonna get my Swiffer again and change the rag or whatever you wanna call it. Does anyone know what these are called? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I got a clean one out and what I'm going to do next is get all my cobwebs down. Um, but there were a lot of cobwebs and I just used my Swiffer to, um, to get them out of the corners and off the walls. Um, which I have done this in the past with a towel over a broom, but I kind of liked the idea of using the Swiffer because I didn't want to throw a rag of cobwebs into my laundry again. Um, it was nice to just be able to throw away the little disposable cloth. The next thing I wanted to do was to wash my curtains. I haven't hung most of them up in my house yet, so I wanted to take advantage of that. And for that, I used my Method Laundry Detergent. I really like this Method one because as far as all natural products go, it's pretty affordable, but mainly because of the size of the cap. It says 66 loads on it, and you really get that many because the cap doesn't allow you to put too much detergent in, which I feel like a lot of the other ones do. I always dump more than I need to when the cup is too large. After that, I'm gonna take my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray and a microfiber cloth and then clean some of my windowsills that have some dust collecting. I also saw some on top of the doors and in the door jams, so I just cleaned that with my all-purpose spray as well. And a lot of these Mrs. Meyers scents are in lemon, ver lemon verbena. I really like the scent. It just leaves everything smelling clean and fresh. Um, with the same rag and all-purpose spray, I'm just going to clean my blinds, which like I said, this house has been professionally cleaned, but this area, Marcus just likes to get his peanut butter and jelly hands on, so I just wanted to give those a good wipe down 
and yeah, move his high chair away from there from now on. I started just by wiping them down, but I found it was more efficient to spray the solution on the cloth and then wrap the microfiber cloth around each blind individually and just swipe it all the way down. Next, it's time to clean windows, and I have my Mrs. Myers glass cleaner in the scent Lemon Verbena, again, because I love it. Um, and I wanted to do the window tracks as well because they were looking pretty nasty, but I decided since I only have two hours, I would save that job for another time. So I just did the windows and on the out inside and out, and on the outside, I made sure to take off the screens as well because that's... I think that's the part like windows you can you'll do multiple times a year but I don't always remove the screens so I wanted to make sure that I did that for my spring cleaning already smelled pretty pretty good but what I like to do to freshen things up is take my Mrs. Meyers air freshener again in the lemon verbena and just spray it around the house this stuff smells really good and her stuff is more natural and it's scented with essential oils so like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to answer some questions that I get asked and explain kind of the whole system of Grove Collaborative really quick. First, so first of all, if you are a new customer to Grove Collaborative and you spend your first $20, um, you will get that free gift, but you will also get a 60 day free VIP membership, which is normally $19.99 a year. That gives you free shipping for the first two months and also means they will price match any items. So if you see it on sale somewhere else or on a different website, you just send them the link to that item and they will price match it for you. Once your VIP membership has expired, you have the option of paying the $19.99 and getting it for another year or you can just stick with a regular membership which is free which shipping is still really inexpensive it's only $2.99 per order and you just have to meet a 10 it's, it's either 10 or 15 dollars um, is their minimum requirement to ship something what else do I really get asked um, a lot of people say is this a subscription the answer is yes and no um, the reason Grove Collaborative really works with my lifestyle is because I can order as frequently or as not frequently as I need to you can set your core products to be shipped to you every month or every two months or up to six months it's really up to you I tend to order every probably like two or three times a month because I do have the VIP membership and get free shipping um, so I end up ordering probably at least two times a month um, and it's really nice because as a mom <laughs> hi Marky I'm just holding the camera tripod so that Marcus doesn't bump it as a mom I find it really valuable to have shipments shipped to me like if I'm running out of laundry detergent I don't have to plan an emergency trip to the store I can just order it and the shipping is really quick they are so fast so that's like the main reason that I really love Grow Collaborative also their prices are at or below retail price so and I've kept an eye on it and most things are always just a little bit cheaper than what is at Target the next question is if I don't like it can I cancel absolutely you can always cancel at any time and Grow Collaborative doesn't just ship things without you knowing they always send you an email when it's coming up and give you the option of changing what's in your cart they always send you a text if you want that um, and they just really have such great customer service <laughs> Mark keeps playing with the balloons okay. um, also if you're a VIP every couple months they will send you a free gift so I've got a lot of cool things to try that way um, so like I said if you guys want to give Grove Collaborative a try I will have the link down below for that like I said earlier if you are an existing customer to Grove Collaborative there is a link for you to get a free pack of walnut scrubbing so make sure you check that out anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my spring cleaning video stay tuned for the kitchen edition which will be coming up soon good luck cleaning and happy spring I'll see you guys in my next video bye